Hello and welcome to Your News Now from the horse's mouth. Our breaking news today. A serious outbreak of equimisery has been recorded across the nation. People are tweeting in from all over. Sunderland, we have a tweet here. More people are admitted to hospital from wind-related incidents than any other cause. My horse fell over in the wind only yesterday. When challenged with, well, it didn't though, did it? The lady in question became very aggressive and has been arrested for assault. In other parts of the country, from Clacton, one tweets, Mine lays awake at night, wondering what it can do to me. And from Scunthorpe, we've got this traditional horse riding. You've got to remember, it's the most dangerous hobby in the world. Equimisery across the country. We've been out and about seeing what people are saying. My husband started panicking. If the horse can sense my star sign from two fields away, and now he won't come out of the shed. And he's a Gemini, but that's two of them stuck in there. If you think about history, I think everyone that's ever ridden a horse has died, haven't they? You know, yeah. Or a mule. Not good news at all. The equimisery outbreak is unprecedented and filling the airways of this nation, which is a doubly bad thing because, as we know, the horses can pick up those airways through the little whiskers on their chinny chin chin. Don't get on your horses. Anything could happen. This is clearly going to be a disaster. Let's just cut you off, Paul, there, because that's clearly very contagious indeed. Now, Scientists believe they have found a way to stop the transmission of equimisery with the simple amalgamation of known technologies, combining coronavirus masks with safety helmets and other headgears already available on the market. So if you want to stop the transmission of equimisery, perhaps you should buy the other people at your yard something special for Christmas. This has been Carl Greenwood, your news now, from the horse's mouth. Goodbye. Fucking one day wonder.